Aries Training Center. Actually, he was from March 2017 until January 2023. So, whatever actions he can be liable for during that time, as I in the complaint, well, he it remains to be seen. You know, if and when we prevail at the circuit regarding the civil rights violations that have been alleged against him. Now, what is interesting here is, and I, and I can tell you, I can tell you, looking at you, not in the eye because I don't have you in front of me, but looking at the camera, I can tell you that I have never lied to a court. I have never made a false representation to a court because I take, I take my oath very seriously. And I think that as a targeted individual, that is what has prevented my adversaries and my the people that have been after me from harming me more because I am very honest in my professional endeavors. Now, uh, one of the things that happens when an official is sued in his official capacity, when the person ceases to be in that office, the legal representative of that person has to notify the other party that there has to be a substitution of parties in the case because if you ultimately obtain a remedy against the official, for example, the remedies that we are seeking against the official capacity defendants are, for example, that they stop including innocent people on a terrorist database. And guess who is the person that is, would have to carry out that order, that command? Well, the director of the terrorist screening center. That is why there is a legal duty of the attorney representing that official to communicate that not only to me as a plaintiff's attorney, but also to the court. Because every time an attorney makes a representation to the court that uh, they are writing on behalf of the official capacity defendants, they are making a representation that it is those defendants that are there. So Mr. Cable, since January 31st, is no longer an official capacity defendant, even though in March 15th of 2023, I filed a second amended complaint, and on March 16th, the attorney for the government acquiesced to it and said she had no objection to it. Instead of at that moment telling me, oh, by the way, Mr. Cable no longer is the director of the terrorist screening center, so you should correct that. I'm not going to decide right now the course of action I am going to take regarding this matter, but it is certainly very serious. You know, I take it very serious because uh, when you sign a document, you know what I discovered? I really like your driving myself.